Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. So, I got some port wine here, and I, I really dig some port wine. So the story behind these wines is that uh, I got an email and uh, from Michelle Keen at Calhoun Wine, and this is like September 20th, the email came out. And she's like, Halloween's all about costumes and candy for the kids, but who says adults can't enjoy their own version that includes wine, of course. Uh, while candy and wine can be a tricky combination, if you stick with the basic wine pairing rule that a dessert wine should be sweeter than the dessert itself, port wine offers sp uh, spooktacular pairings with classic Halloween candy. Well, uh, so they um, so they sent me this stuff and says, here's a few favorites that feature ports from the Symington family estates uh, to try out. So last year, last year, port wine for Halloween. These guys got to me and said, hey, you wanna do port wine for Halloween? I'm like, heck yeah. <clears throat> so when they emailed this out, I was like, oh, I've already committed to somebody else for my Halloween wines. So um, they, so they just missed it, but I said, but I'm more, you're more than welcome to send me the samples, I'll still review it, because I really like port wine. So um, while I don't have the candy pairing going on here, we're not really a Halloween theme, um, just know that ports can be really good with, with candy. So without further ado, even these are Portuguese wines, let's get into this. So, um, let's see if I can just get this off here. I didn't have, I don't have the wine key in front of me, but this one actually has a foil on it. And it looks like the Grams has one too. It looks like they all do. It looks like I should have probably got the wine key, but it's okay. So this is the Cockburn's Special Reserve Port Wine. Um, it's made from a blend of predominantly youthful wines. Uh, the Special Reserve Port, uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. Nothing else to say, because then, then we're reading their actual tasting notes, and we don't want to do that. All righty. Uh, suggested manufacturer, suggested retail price is $18. And they suggested pairing this with Twizzlers, by the way, which I kind of wish had some Twizzlers. So on the nose, um, you know, the alcohol is really coming through. Um, as a reminder, these are fortified wines, so they'll have higher alcohol. And I'm going to put the cap back on so I can tilt it. Let's see here. I'm trying to find the um, alcohol. It topped out at 19 and a half, which is, you know, right around that, you know, 20% is our goal on, on port wines to, to, to finish at 20%. So chocolate. But it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, um, not a milk chocolate. It's like a, like almost like a bitter, dark chocolate aroma. Like a touch of caramel. Makes me think of caramel apples. Halloween. God, I'm just, I'm just coming up like with nothing tonight with, with air, air, aromatics. Touch of coffee to it, touch of cedar to it. Yeah, all right, let's go and taste it. So, 
So definitely a really basic port. Um, I really feel like, I mean, again, it's a, it's a fortified wine. It's going to be high alcohol. Um, but I kind of feel like the, the alcohol is really overpowering anything else. And there's honestly like a medicinal quality to it. Not a really fan of that. But it's like, it's like cherry, like cherry cough syrup, right? Yeah. With a little bit of black cherry thrown in. <clears throat> Personally, I'd probably pass on this. If you're looking for a ruby port um, in the $18 range for a whole bottle, this might be your jam. I don't know. Um, it's really dominated with the alcohol. The cherries is there. But I just kind of feel like it's like a, like a medicinal cough syrup, cherry cough syrup, sucrets type of thing going on here. And that, that's not... That's not my, my deal when it comes to ruby ports. And it's not terribly sweet, you know? It doesn't have to be, but you, it feels like it should be sweeter. Now, would this go well with Twizzlers? Yeah, it would. It would. The Twizzlers would really, you know, each, each item would really enhance the other. But in general, I'm not a fan of it. Really not a fan of it. But, you know, the, 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 this might be up right up your alley. So there's a market for it. Absolutely. There's a market for every wine. All right. So next wine, wine number two. All right. This is going to be gr the Grams, W&J Grams, 10-year uh, Tawny Port. Um... These guys were established in 1820, 1820, boom. Uh, suggested retail price on this is $36, and they suggest that you pair it with Snickers. Um, they just say it's aged in oak casks in Graham's Historic Lodge in, in Oporto, which is the actual port. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to, looks like I'm gonna have to get the uh, actual wine key the wine tool on this so i mean i gotta carry everything the only problem with these things is you know the battery's not inside anyway so let's just go back here you know the 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 finish on that on that on that um cock burns is really long and it's kind of like it tastes really better now than it does when you just like actually sip on it so, um, you know, there's that. Okay, here we go. I don't know why the display is doing that. Keeps kind of coming in and out. I mean, it's getting plenty of power, trust me. All right, so let's, this is my, uh, my French wine key. Because honestly, The, my, my regular wine key, I kind of can't find it anymore. I know I'm spinning the bottle. You're not supposed to spin it, but I'm not doing service right now. This is home. This is, a, this is how you do it at home, man. I don't open port bottles very often, so getting right under that lip. There we go. There we go. All righty. Now, tawny ports, tawny ports in general. So, they t so ruby ports tend to be fruitier 
and tawny ports tend to be nuttier. And I tend to, in general, prefer tawny ports. Yeah, it tastes better now. Maybe I'll go back to it after the tawnies. All righty. And just as a reminder, um, these tawny ports that are like 10 year, 20 year, 30 year, 40 year, because those are the designations, they don't necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean they were aged for 20, 10 years, even though it says age 10 years on, on, on this bottle. Or is it this bottle or is the other one? One of them says age 10 years. Let's, let me take a look. No, this just says, this just, oh, it's just, yeah, age 10 years. It doesn't necessarily mean that the wine that makes it up was aged 10 years. It just means it has to taste like a 10 year. That's what the legal definition of for, for tawny ports is. So, yeah, this is definitely a step up. I mean, it should be for twice as much money. So you've get, you get that caramel... There's a, bit, a slight bit of nuttiness to it. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a super nutty uh, thing, but it's like a, like a walnut, hazelnut type of thing. Mix a little caramel in there. There's, the alcohol isn't as, isn't as prominent as it was in, in the Cockburns, right? The, 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 the Ruby port. Um, Let's get this put in there. And this is a straight up 20% alcohol. So half percent higher. I also feel like you can kind of smell the wood on it. Not a bad thing. It's like a... Basically it's just like, like a wood barrel like the outside of a wood barrel. All right, let's try it out. It definitely has the nutty quality on the palate more than it does on the, on the nose. I mean, it was there in the nose, but this is like, like, um, like they, they said to pair it with the Snickers, which I can totally get, but I kind of get more of a payday, right? This, no, they didn't put that. So that's the caramel and peanuts. I really get that peanut caramel quality to it with a hint of milk chocolate. Um, I mean, it's just like, and like peanut shell, okay? Or not just peanut shell, you know, the little, the like, like when you get those roasted peanuts that don't, you know, they've, they've been shelled, but they have like that, like almost like that, I don't know, like a skin to it. Like that, that part of the peanut. Not just that, not just the peanut itself, but that little extra like skin type of thing, that little reddish um, cover. I get that to it. That's kind of exciting that I get that out of it. Oh, back to the Cockburns, because I'm, I'm trying to avoid reading the actual descriptions, but it does say that it's aged five years in oak. So, yes. Uh, this one, let's see if it actually says anything. Uh, it's aged in seasoned oak cask in Graham's historic lodge in Oporto, two miles from the cool Atlantic Ocean. The moist ocean air imparts uh, a fresh and vibrant house style for which Graham's is known. As a result, the, this port is balanced with just enough. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, that's. We'll stop there. I like it. It's not over the top. It's not. Um, it's not like this luscious. I mean, it's it's, it's definitely full of flavor. It's very flavorful and all that, but um, it's it's ten year. It's not. It's like just right there at that tawny port age. It's not like the twenty and thirty and forty that are like super nutty. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like biting into a payday. So if that's your thing, 
It's awesome. I like caramel. I love peanuts. I don't necessarily like them as a candy bar, but that has nothing to do with wine. It's good, and the alcohol is definitely better contained than it is on the Cockburns. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to wine number three. All right, so this is Dow's aged 10 years, old tawny port. There we go. Got that right there. Let's get this opened up. You know what I like about this wine key? It's like old school wine key to me. Like the, it's not, a, I've, I know I've mentioned it plenty of times before. It's not a serrated edge. I hate serrated edges. Um, and it's, um, I'm not gonna use it on here, but it's, <clears throat> it's not, I prefer the double, the double clutch, what I call it. It has like a little spring load, but this like takes me back old school because it's just one. And it's kind of fun opening my wines at home with it. Especially since I can't find the other Oh, what do you know? It's got a little thing right there, which I was looking for on the other on the other two. I couldn't find it. Bam. I'm still going to take but see. See, it's like right at the very edge, which we don't want that anyway. So I'm going to take that part off. This also retails for thirty six dollars. Just so you know. All right, we're good there. Goes out of here. So, um, Dow's is known uh, for its characteristic, characteristically drier house style, which makes your 10 year tawny uh, the perfect pairing for not, and then it just kind of talks about what you pair it with. Let's see, um, yeah, nothing else there. All right, let's go. And they suggested pair this with Nestle Crunch. So I'm kind of interested to see why they paired it with that. And I love me some Nestle Crunch. Of the three, of the three candies, Nestle, Crunch, Twizzlers, then Snickers. Because the Snickers are tasty, but I'm not really a fan of combining, like I said with the payday, like combining nuts and the chocolate at the same time. I like to eat them separately. So um, it's got the caramel, obviously. Um, the nutty aroma is not as uh, prominent as it was on the grams. Um, there's, there's a you know, walnut, hazelnut quality to it. Not really a peanut. But it feels like it might be a little closed on the, on the, on the nose. Let's go ahead and taste it. So maybe it tastes like a tawny port. And in general, it'd be hard pressed to, to tell the difference between the two. But I feel like the, 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 nut, the nuttiness quality is not as prominent. Um, it's a little more subtle. It's there, it's just kind of like chilling. Kind of chilling in the background going, yeah, I'm here, man, what's up, right? Whereas, whereas the, uh, the grams, so let's, grams there put this here actually yeah whatever um whereas the grams is a little more in your face right it's a little smoother it's um got a little bit more of the milk chocolate quality to it um so i can kind of I can see where they're going with the nestle crunch on that um as far as what you know nestle crunch has like rice in it so i'm not really sure how that worked out or maybe this person just loves nestle crunch and like we're gonna put we're just gonna pair it with something so uh it wouldn't be a bad pairing but very tasty That nutty quality is really starting to come through now. 
And there's also a salinity to it, a little bit of salinity to it. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, as always, click the links above to frame me up. Click the links below to find out more about uh, these port houses and uh, the cool stuff that they're doing. Um, always hit the donate button if you like and uh, send me a few ducats. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, and I just want to thank you all for stopping by, and we'll see every see see everyone again next time.